Bergman has a deep love for Huskies, so it didn't take long for her to get attached to Coda after he appeared in her backyard on Christmas Day. So I get a call from my boyfriend, and he says, funny story, he had let our younger Husky, Aspen, out. And he said when he went to get her back inside, that there was another Husky in our yard. He said he brought it in, and he was skinny and so wet that the whole back half of him was covered in ice. After a bath and some food, Coda was taken to the vet to be scanned for a microchip. It was then that Jamie found out that this husky was a long way from home. So I finally get a hold of the owners, and they can't believe it. They are really confused, first of all, about who I am, how I have their number, and how I have their dog. So we get to talking, and I find out that they are from New Mexico, and that's where he's from. And he's been missing for almost a year. How Coda managed to make it to Missouri is still a mystery, but one Jamie believes has to do more with fate than luck. The fact that we had a husky pass away the 1st of December, you know, it just makes me think, did she have something to do with it? Did she send this dog to us because he needed help? Or, you know, how did he jump the fence in my yard, you know? Like, how did, how? It's so crazy. Coda will head back to his home in New Mexico next month, but his odd journey and brief visit with Jamie served as a kind of Christmas miracle, making Jamie wonder who saved who. He came at the right time, and it all just kind of worked out because he's really helping us heal from the loss of our, of our other dog. And it's nice to be able to have him here through the holidays, you know, when it's always rough. And we have this other dog that we can focus on and love. And, you know, he's giving us back a little bit also. So it's really cool. Marcus Officer, Fox 4.